guys! I'm here to talk to you briefly about this hair that I received. I want to show you how I colored it and then I will give you a quick review. So before we get started, please subscribe to our channel, comment below what you'd like to see next, thumbs up this video, and be sure to share it. Thanks you guys! Love you! Okay guys, so as you can see, I've laid down some opened up boxes and this is where I'm going to bleach. Oh, don't forget to subscribe y'all. And um, now I'm putting down some foil because I'm going to put the hair on top of this. Okay guys, now I'm laying down the hair and I'm just straightening out as much as possible and making sure that it's good for bleaching. So here's my red plastic cup guys, don't judge me, and my bucket of bleach is Blue Flash, the Sally's brand salon care, and I'm just putting on my gloves so that I can mix the bleach with the developer, and here you guys see I'm emptying it into the bucket and now putting some in the cup. So now I'm taking my 20 volume salon care developer and I could not find 40 volume for the life of me. If not, I would have used that because it would have allowed the hair to lift a lot more quickly. But 20 volume works pretty well. And now I have my apple care brush and I'm using the back of that to stir the bleach. Now this particular mix is going to be for the closure so make sure it's not too runny. So here I am gently applying the bleach to the base of the closure. I'm making sure to be very gentle so that I don't get it through to the other side of the closure because we're not trying to look rough you guys, we're trying to look cute and bleach the knots. You know, you know. Now I'm just adding the bleach to the hair. Now before I did this, I added a little bit more developer to the existing mix I made so that it's more of like, I want to say, I don't want to say a soup, but what can I say man? Sort of like an okra soup consistency. That's like the best way I could describe this at the moment you guys. But shout out to Nixter for helping me bleach the hair. Thanks. Love her. Make sure you guys follow her on Instagram at simplygorgeousnick. Anywho, here I am turning the hair over you guys and I'm doing this so that I can evenly bleach both sides. Now I don't think my bleach mixture was thick enough, that's my bad y'all. Honestly, yeah, it wasn't thick enough, but Nicole's was nice and thick so if you look over there at how hers is looking, that's exactly how your bleach mixture needs to look. And it will bleach a lot better too. Here I'm just taking my little mixing fork <laughs> and straightening out the hair. Don't judge me you guys, I know that's a bit odd. Okay, so now we're allowing the hair to sit for a while you guys until it's time to do the next layer up. We only did the bottom for now and I think I left it sit for 45 minutes to an hour. Okay, so we're back again and we're putting bleach on the next portion of the hair. We did this to have an ombre effect so that from top to bottom the hair would not bleach evenly. It would be a gradient, you know? And once again, turning the hair over, just repeating the same steps we did before. Shout out to Nixter once again. Hey boo. Okay, so now that we've finished bleaching the hair, 
I'm combing the hair, the, ah, I'm combing the bleach through the hair, you guys. <laughs> Don't mind my little, like, tongue entanglements. And now I'm wrapping the hair in the foil since the bleaching process needs to just continue. So you guys, I have a confession. I actually forgot to bleach the closure. So what I'm doing now is just repeating the same process on the closure as I did on the other bundles. Yeah. So here I am just checking to make sure that the hair is lifted enough. Now this is lifted enough for now. But I felt like the bleach was losing its potency, so I was like, okay, let me just bleach this again. But right now I'm just rinsing it. I'm not neutralizing it since I know I'm going to bleach it again. Learn that little trick from Peak Mail, aka Khadija. Shout out to her. <laughs> Here I am just repeating the bleaching process. Don't really need to talk about this, guys, but I'm pretty much only doing it on the bottom. Hello. Now that the hair has lifted just enough, I'm washing it with neutralizing shampoo and deep conditioning it. And I have a little bucket there for after I've finished neutralizing and deep conditioning the hair so that the hair can just kind of marinate, so to speak. Okay y'all, so now I'm coloring the hair, this is what I used, and unfortunately a lot of this footage got lost, so I'm going to explain to you in great detail how I did this. So I took my darker color, which is this color right here, and I applied it to the root and the top of the hair, even overlapping the black, that way it was kind of a seamless transition from a deep shade to the black, yeah, or rather a seamless transition from black to the deep shade, uh -huh. that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> and after that, I mixed that deeper shade with the second shade and I applied it to the hair. After I did that, I started pastelizing the colors and so I mixed that shade with a little bit of conditioner and I applied it to the midsection of the hair. Next. I used the third shade and the fourth shade and did the same. I also mixed those two colors while they were on the hair. So basically as I was coloring, what I would do was I would kind of blur the lines. That way the gradient was nice and smooth. It wouldn't just be a block. It would be a very clean transition. At the very tip of the hair, I toned it a bit and I allowed that to mix with the pastel pink color. And the effect that I got there was kind of a washed out, like pinky, salmony feel. So that was pretty beautiful. And as far as these colors are concerned, I didn't leave them on for an extremely long amount of time. It was somewhere in between one hour and three hours. I really don't remember you guys. I was super tired, but that's how I was able to achieve this kind of like washed out pastelish color. Pastelish, oh my goodness, I'm making up words over here. So here you guys can just see more of what I was talking about. And like I said, I don't have the footage to show you for me coloring all of the hair, unfortunately. Actually, you know, I don't think it got lots. I think I ran out of space on my memory card. Ugh, it's time to get a new memory card, y'all because my second one was full. But anyway, off of my bunny trail. So here's the 
pastel you guys as you can see this is not the color one would expect from what I did but I'm glad that this turned out this way because it's a really like fun flirty light wash for the summer and here I'm just curling and just doing my normal thing and I used a curling wand this time all I did was I took the curling wand and I made some nice spirals after that I would use a rat tail comb to comb out the spirals and then I would spray it with some gentle holding spray and that's how I got my like beachy romantic -y wave type look and as you can see I'm also teasing the roots to make sure that there's enough volume Here's the finished look to you guys. Ah, here's the finished look you guys. I hope you like this. And now I'm gonna put this on my head so that we can be popping. Who knows tomorrow, mama? Okay guys, anyway, so um here's me just gelling down my baby hairs well actually I'm using edge control it is a gel but I mean more specifically an edge control so it's pretty thick this is my favorite edge control and since I want to be on fleek gotta make sure the baby hairs are laid but yo like aren't my cornrows looking lit you guys I think they're looking very very lovely like so full and thick and I have to give a shout out to my friend Chelsea who's starting a YouTube channel, you guys go follow her, she did my cornrows. Anywho, here I am just placing the wig on my head, adjusting it, trying to make sure it looks very seamless, very natural, very beautiful. Cause you know, we're trying to be a fine babe, this is fine babe by force y'all. Mmm, <laughs> that hair is flawless y'all. Like, I'm feeling it man. As you can see, I'm feeling myself. Don't mind me, you. Don't mind me, you guys. <laughs> oh yeah, get that slow mo going. Yes, this hair is really yummy, you guys. Like I'm seriously loving it. I was a bit unsure about the color, but my sister absolutely loved it as soon as she saw it. Okay guys, so some brief info about this hair. This hair was sent to me by Shay of Crystal's Hair. That's C-H-R-Y-S-T-A-L-S -S hair. And you can find them on Instagram at crystals underscore hair. To purchase this hair, the website is www.crystalshair.bigcartel.com. I'm wearing Peruvian virgin hair in three bundles. I think the lengths are 28. 26 and 24 inches and I was surprised because the 28 inch is actually quite long. I don't know if you guys can see that. But yeah that 28 inch is like super duper long so I was like oh snap fam. It was almost feeling like a 30 inch so I was that was definitely like a pleasant surprise. As far as the texture when I got the hair it was super duper soft. It's still quite soft even though I've bleached it and colored it and it actually managed to retain the wave which I was really surprised about because pretty much every other time I've bleached hair it's lost the wave. Um, that may have had something to do with the fact that I mistakenly used 20 volume developer. I was trying to get 40 guys. Uh, but 
I mean, hey, it kept the wave. So that is super commendable. As far as customer service, Shay is super duper nice and she's been just a joy to talk to and work with. And I also have to apologize for being so late with this review, guys. She's been extremely patient with me with getting out of school and stuff like that. And just other things I've had to take care of with my family and all of that. So I really appreciate that. Thank you, Shay. So you guys should totally buy her hair. She's very, very nice. And the hair is really beautiful. I'm seriously loving this hair. And I hope you guys love my color that I did. Ultimately, this hair gets two huge thumbs up from me, you guys. I'm seriously loving it. And yeah, like, it's really awesome hair. It's beautiful. It holds the curl very well. It's super lightweight. And for three bundles, it's surprisingly thick. Oh, I also got sent a closure. Sorry, I forgot to mention that, guys. But um, this closure is really fabulous. Um, I was pleasantly surprised that I didn't have to pluck it. It might be because I bleached the knots, but um, it's a free part closure, and I didn't actually have to pluck it. All I did was, yeah, bleach the knots and just pop it on. I wet it a little to define the part, but other than that, I didn't have to do any closure maintenance. It also lifted easily when I bleached the hair. So, you guys should totally purchase this hair. It's really great. I love it. And um, now I'm going to show you guys what the hair looks like in some, you know, some shakara shots. 